In this video, I'm going to show you the number one way to start closing your claims up to 40% faster, plus nine time management hacks to help you start crushing your cycle time, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. For the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cap property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. And thanks to Mark from Facebook who says, prior to getting my license, I had a lot of questions. I came across Adjuster TV on YouTube and it was great. I've watched about every one and some two to three times. The information you share is great. From tools you need, to how to start in the field, to how to last, all have been educational. Thanks for watching, Mark. Before we jump into our topic today, here's a quick update on NACA 2019. I took your questions to the conference and had them answered by IA firm owners, HR directors, recruiters, and operations managers. Why wonder, guess, or speculate about whether or not you need E&O insurance or if you can get hired on as a daily adjuster with no prior claims experience or any of the other tons of questions you asked, I got all that info for you straight from the horse's mouth. During the job fair at NACA, adjusters could interview with any of dozens of IA firms. But I interviewed the IA firms for you and have nearly 30 interviews. I tried to get everybody, but it was just me there, so I did what I could. So you get to meet people from across the industry and they'll introduce themselves to you in their own words and give you tips and tricks for getting your claims career off the ground. I'm so excited to share this stuff with you, so stay tuned. So what's the one way you can improve your speed by up to 40% and therefore crush your cycle time? Stop multitasking. A 2005 study at King's College in London found that people who thought that they were good at multitasking actually performed up to 40% worse than people who concentrated on one task at a time without distractions. Here's a summary of this study. In 2005, a psychiatrist at King's College in London administered IQ tests to three groups. The first did nothing but perform the IQ test, the second was distracted by email and ringing phones, and the third was stoned on marijuana. Not surprisingly, the first group did better than the other two by an average of 10 points. The emailers, on the other hand, did worse than the stoners by an average of 6 points. Just as a note, I found tons of media coverage of this study on the internet, but I couldn't find the actual study itself. However, I did find a study that was done at Stanford in 2009, which showed that multitaskers are lousy at multitasking. To our absolute shock, we found that in any of the th categories of activities that we thought their brain would be better at, that would enable them to manage multiple streams of information at one time, they're actually worse at all of them. So it's a great mystery what the heck is going on. Right now what we can say is multitaskers are lousy in multitasking. Okay, so you've probably heard for years that if you want to be good at your work, you have to multitask. You might have even seen it on a job posting or two. Excellent multitasking skills required. So quick question, do you think that you're good at multitasking and that, that it improves your productivity? Answer in the comments below. So in my experience training adjusters and handling my own claims, I found that I'm absolutely terrible at multitasking and I have to do everything one thing at a time. I learned that if I wanted to be fast and have good quality claims, I had to stop multitasking. But Matt, with all of the things that we have to do in, a, in an individual claim, how do we get all that done in a timely manner or if even faster? I call it single tasking. The simplest definition of single tasking is that you concentrate on one task until it's done without distraction. Then you start the next thing, again, without distraction. And you focus on that thing until it's done. And then you work on the next thing and so on and so forth. It is the exact opposite of multitasking. So here are nine fast ways that you can improve cycle time and reduce time consuming errors in your claims. Number one, you have to reduce distractions. So you wanna turn off the TV, turn off your Wi-Fi on your computer, turn off the radio, turn off the game, turn off ESPN, turn all that stuff off. Anything that divides your attention while you're working on a claim is going to cause you to have a lower quality claim and take longer to do it. Number two, let calls go to voicemail while you're writing claims. Set office hours for yourself and check voicemails then, return calls then, and make your contact calls then during your office hours and not during the time that you're actually writing estimates or doing field inspections or talking to the standing in the insurance driveway, talking to them, etc. Number three, same thing with email. Have a time set aside where you only do email. 
You're sending emails, you're responding to emails, you're not doing anything else, you're only doing email. And once you've reached zero inbox, then you move on to the next thing. Comment below if you've ever reached zero inbox at work. Number four, batch your work. What does that mean? Just like I mentioned previously, if you're going to make phone calls, do all of your phone calls all at the same time. You're not answering incoming calls while you're making your outgo outgoing calls. Let those go to voicemail. You don't even have to publish your office hours. Those are just office hours for you so that you know that you have a specific time set during the day when you can get work done. Number five. Same thing with estimates. If you're working on a file, work through the estimate in a sensible order and complete absolutely everything that you can until it's done. If you have to wait for an ITEL report or a CAD or a pictometry for the roof diagram, then do everything else that you can in that file. And once that, that report comes in, then you can pop it in there and turn the file in. Number six, scoping. If you're on a field inspection, let calls go to voicemail. With the possible exception, of course, is if your manager calls and or he sends you a text message, you probably better check uh, communications from your manager. But for anybody else, you have to let that go to voicemail and get back with them during your set office hours that you're going to make phone calls. Number seven, do not create work for yourself later. So in other words, if you have things that you can do on a file, you make sure that you do all those things on that file until there's nothing else that you can do on that file. When you make all your phone calls, you make all the phone calls that you absolutely can until you're done with phone calls. Do not, under any circumstances, put things off until tomorrow thinking, ah, oh, well, you know, it's dinner time, we're just gonna go get some, something to eat and then I'll probably watch the game a little bit and then I'll work on that later on tonight. Do it now while you've made time for it and get it done because you're just gonna add work to yourself later on. Number eight, put your do not disturb sign on your hotel room door. Housekeeping or adjuster buddies are notorious for disrupting your workflow because hey, it's happy hour somewhere, right? Number nine, if you write your claims up on site like I do, go to your car and write the estimate. If you hang around inside the insurance house writing your estimate, yes, of course, you're gonna be able to work on your customer service Service scores a little bit and talk to the customer and everything but you're not concentrating on writing that estimate and I can't tell you when I stand there in the insurance kitchen writing the estimate every time they ask me a question I have to backtrack and start over what I was just doing because I, have, I get distracted so I'm, I'm doing two things at one time I'm talking to the customer and I'm trying to write an estimate I have to do one thing at a time so I take it out to the car I tell the insured hey I'm gonna take this out to the car write it up I got all the you know, printer and everything set up out there I'm gonna write this up and I'll be back in about 20 25 minutes, whatever it is, and then go concentrate on it and then come back in and finish your settlement. But separate that time. Plus, it's kind of awkward to be sitting there at the, the kitchen table while the kids are eating cereal and you're writing an estimate. It's a little bit weird. Okay, question of the day. Do you really think that you can turn off your phone while you're writing an estimate? Let us know in the comments below. For much more information about cycle time and time management, head on over to AdjusterTV.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.